Yo, I'm Big Brian, and let's talk football. Your story is absolutely incredible. You were born in 1966 in Fort yeah. Lauderdale, Florida, third youngest of 17 kids. I used to be so mad at God for giving me all these brothers and sisters. And man, you know, we got nothing. I had nothing. Everything got passed down. And the 15th, you know, and, and, and we, we didn't have anything. My dad, you know, was a roofer and my mom, <laughs> 17 kids, you know, she was pregnant a lot, you know. <laughs> so, so she was home. And I always tell people, you know, growing up like that and everything gets passed down and you don't have anything, you just kind of hope and pray, oh God, please, when it falls back on me, let it be back in style, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, so. My mom always made me feel like there was something special about me. Now she would, she said to me uh, early on, and she said it all of my life. She said, you know, baby, I was, when, when I got pregnant with you, I was crying. I was saying, you were that happy, baby? She said, oh, no, 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 no. No, I was saying, God, I can't take another kid. You know, right. that's what she was saying. And she said, you know, she's a primitive Baptist. So she said, I was in church, baby, and, and God wrapped his arm around my womb and said, Pearl, this will be the one. This is the one. This kid will be blessed amongst all, among all your kids. She's told me this every day of my life. Your senior year, you get great year. grades. You've right. gone through this horrible right. experience with your dad, and you have this great year. You become Michael Irvin, the wide receiver, and you end up in Miami. In Miami. And now I was with Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy uh, Johnson came in. Which is unbelievable. I mean, it's just great. And, and so I would talk to Coach. Coach said, now listen, I'll never forget Jimmy saying to me, he said, I know what you're trying to do. He said, I know what you're trying to do. And he said, uh, and he said, I, I don't mind what you're trying to do. He says, but if, if, if Dallas draft you, none of that shenanigans, none of that, you know. And, and he told me then, he said, I got a, 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 a OI buddy of mine who might be buying the Dallas Cowboys. He, he knew prior yes. that it was a but possibility. Me getting drafted. Wow, that Jerry, Jerry could be the owner. Jerry could, would be, was looking in the buying the Dallas and Cowboys. And if Jerry's the owner, right. Jimmy's he was the coming next as step. the coach. Right. He was coming in the next coach. So Green Bay called, and, and I was on the phone, Green Bay. Michael, we're thinking about drafting. I was like, Green Bay? Thank you. Florida. Green Bay. <laughs> you know, like, whoa. You know. <laughs> And, and my whole house started, no way, Green Bay. No, I'm like, oh my God. No, 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 right? I'm looking around like, we the poorest people in the world. And we talk about, no way, Green Bay. And I, I actually said no to Green Bay. And, and then Dallas, Dallas just drafted me. They never even called. You know, they never even called. They just drafted me. And, and, and but, but I was happy. My dad was such a huge Cowboy fan. So I, oh, I, I was really? always happy. Oh, man, he's a huge Cowboy fan. He wore a fedora hat. And we watched Tom Landry all the time. And, and, and my dad would always say, boy, if you, boy, if you ever play from Dallas Cowboys, boy, it'd be something, boy. And it, it, I mean, he loved the Dallas Cowboys. And, and to actually get drafted by Dallas, it was like, wow. I think people might not be aware that when you were a first round pick of the Dallas Cowboys, you played for Tom Landry. Yes, I played for Tom Landry. Now, playing that one year up under Coach Landry was, was tough. You know, they had gone seven and nine. And, 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 and at the time, the Cowboys had never drafted anyone like me. You know, they, Tom Landry didn't have anyone with earrings in his ear. And I had this big old gold chain with a gold rope, you know, big old gold rope. And the, the first day on my opening press conference, I said, listen, these hands, these hands, I catch so well. I catch these hands. I've been born to catch. When I was born, the doctor tried to spank me. I caught his hand. Caught his hand. I said, I did, I did. What do you think the Rev would have thought of his boy as a Super Bowl champion Dallas Cowboy? You no, know, my first touchdown, when, on the first one you showed, that, that's what I thought about going across the end zone. You, you know, actually thought of your father? I, I thought about my dad. I said, oh my God, I just scored a touchdown in the Super Bowl, man. I just wonder what my dad's thinking about that. So that was, that was just an incredible moment. Wow.